Not to sound like really stupid, but is the Boston Marathon longer than the LA Marathon? No, all marathons are the same length. That's like common sense, I fear. Are you serious? I'm serious. I know that videos like this are supposed to be just fun, but I feel like people sometimes are so attached to romance tropes from One Tree Hill or Riverdale or something that they're almost trying to turn the characters of Percy and Annabeth into people like that. Percy doesn't get together or respond to Annabeth kissing him right before he almost dies in a volcano eruption <laughs> because he knows now that he is supposed to die when he's 16, which is very soon. Would you be able to start a relationship with someone, even if it was someone that you had an established friendship with that you knew you would be happy with, if you knew the entire time that you might die very soon and that person would then have to figure out how to live without you? This isn't a situation of like, Percy is just oblivious about his feelings. Percy doesn't know. No, Percy just doesn't know how to deal with that sort of pressure on him. And honestly, the most healthy thing he can do is not force that, even if it means that Annabeth takes out some of her frustrations on him. Because that's also an important point of this whole thing in like Battle of the Labyrinth time, right? Annabeth shames Percy for being upset, for having emotions. She tells him, oh, I knew that you would react this way. Oh, I knew that you would be scared. When he finds out that he has prophesied to die and that Annabeth is someone that has known about this their entire friendship and has never told him about it. He is well within his rights to feel upset by that. I would honestly be worried about him if he wasn't upset by that. Annabeth tries to make him feel shame about having those emotions because it makes her feel bad about some of the things that she has done and also because she doesn't want to feel the feelings that she has she's trying to avoid them annabeth is an athena kid athena who pushes away every kind of emotion she has she also comes from her dad and her stepmom who also i'm sure shamed her for having feelings annabeth's way of dealing with the trauma of all of this stuff happening and knowing about the prophecy and then falling in love with the kid who is the prophecy kid knowing the entire time that they're supposed to die is by making percy feel bad about being upset by that because him being upset by it reminds her of how hard this all is and she doesn't want to think about it just like percy becomes friends with rachel a mortal person who isn't involved in any of this stuff because he needs a break from thinking about the choice he's supposed to make and how if he doesn't do it everyone he loves is supposed to die and he might die too neither one of percy and annabeth is like the bad guy here i guess that's the point i'm trying to make it's not fair for annabeth to get upset at percy for showing the emotions of what they're going through you can maybe understand why annabeth would be upset at percy for never responding to her kissing him even if it was right before he almost died <laughs> But I guess what I'm trying to say here is that Percy is not somebody who's that oblivious to his emotions. He is a kid who grew up being beaten by his stepdad and then abused by everyone else that he met except for his mother, basically. So he does downplay how important he is to people. But that doesn't equate to he's just an oblivious guy who doesn't care and doesn't realize that they're dating because he's so unattached from his feelings ironically in the scenario of percy and annabeth and their relationship he is the one that is actually feeling his emotions the most <laughs> the tropes that you see in most romance things don't work for this couple 